Viner Forgates makes your company work. Make your company work with hybrid solutions from Microsoft and Nextiva. <laughs> Yeah, hi, Tully. Uh, today you became the first Terps QB since Daniel Bryan in November 2010 to pass over 400 yards. Uh, tell me how that feels. Well, it just feels good to be back on the way. You know, it just feels good to, to win against a good team. Uh, uh, you gotta have a very good defense. Uh, every phase, DBs, corners, uh, linebackers, D-line. It just feels good to win. Stats and, and all that stuff obviously it comes with it. So, um, the biggest thing for us is just running football. Uh, jumping in a little late here, but in the second half of that game, it looked like you developed almost instant chemistry with the three receivers that played most of the game with Carlos, with Rock, and with Marcus Fleming. Did it start to feel right again like it did earlier in the year to you? Um, you know, no matter who, who coach puts in the game, whether it's, you know, it's those your name, you know, whether it's Cobbs or Dino, Dominic, Ty Young type of, uh, regardless of who he puts in, you know, I have, I have a lot of confidence. And, you know, we all build chemistry with the offseason. I, I throw every single one of them. I try to spend as much time, you know, every receiver. And, uh, you know, like you said, those guys are just in the right place. Mm -hmm. They did their job. And that's one thing coach talks about a lot. Everyone doing their job. Everything's going to work out for us. Right. Penalties have been a little bit of an issue for the team the past couple of weeks. Did you feel like uh, you guys were more disciplined today? Was there anything that you worked on before this game to address that? Um, yes, yes, sir. Um, Coach Oliver stressed that everything gets with him. Right. So that one of the questions he asked was at the beginning of the season, are we going to be a more disciplined team? And, um, today, we made the decision to uh, be disciplined with the penalties and stuff like that. Not trying to beat ourselves, you know. Coach Freeze is talking about that's what good teams do. They don't beat themselves. So that's one thing we try to emphasize a lot, between, especially a good team like Indiana. 